Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Risa from C Manga and welcome to my review of Fairy Tale Chapter 347 Red, Blue and Blonde Hair Fight. So, you know what? After a week break, we're treated to not a, to like a pretty good chapter, you know. I'm pretty happy with it this week. Um it's basically girls versus boys, you know. Um Flair this girl, I swear, she's a lesbian. I must say, no nothing bad about it, you know, but it's like I wasn't exactly expecting that. It's like from the last time, you know, where she's all there, like where she turned up in the bath and everything. It's like okay, that might have been a point where she kind of like fell in love with Lucy or something because it kind of looked like it. And then obviously she was hanging around and everything. So I'm guessing she's gonna go the exact same way that Juvia did, you know, because she's pretty much doing exactly what she did, only with Lucy instead of Grey. You know, she's there like always constantly following her, always stalking her and that stuff. And it's like, yeah, you're insane, girl. You're insane. So yeah, like I said, it's girls versus boys, and you know what, i got to admit, the girls did step up, even though at the beginning it was a little bit shaky, just like, oh god, they look like they're going to lose, you know. Um, Flair, she kind of got her ass handed to her a little, you know, the Treasure Hunter boys, they are surprisingly strong, you know, so obviously we saw like a little bit of what they can do when they're taking on Grey and Natsu and that, when Grey and Natsu were there, but now they kind of stepped up it even more, you know, the sword dude, he's just there, like, chopping away at, um, Flair's hair every time she was doing something, and if you remember, like, during the Coliseum battle, she just completely dominated Lucy with that, you know, Lucy had to bust out, uh, that's almost break out of, like, final level summoning magic to defeat her, and it's like, nope, you're not going to do that, but still, you know, Flair was getting basically taken out, you know, Lucy had to, um, summon cancer to help kill her hair in cancer. He's a really, really, really weird spirit. You know, it's like his combat ability is cutting stuff, but it's like, oh yeah, when it comes to hair, that's all my territory. It's like, so you're a weird hairdresser crab thing. Yeah, they're weird. But yeah, um, Treasure Hunter guy with a sword, I can never remember his name, but anyway, yeah, he's there like all slicing away at um, Flair's hair, and it's like, oh yeah, no matter what, she's going to grow it and that, but still, he kind of literally was just knocking her down a few pegs you know so like I thought Flair was really really strong she seemed it at least but these treasure hunter guys they seem very very competent you know um, Wendy took on the guy who nuts was facing the guy with the hammer fist thing Wendy she's done, she did very well you know obviously she's got a whole sky dragon roar she ends up like looks like she could at least kind of hold her own Lucy in this battle I really don't fully know what she was doing it's kind of like she was rear backup support you know she obviously had Sagittarius there like keeping props on the sniper guy she tried to bring out Virgo to like you know obviously a plan dig a tunnel underneath the ground go behind the sniper but thanks to the, the whole place being frozen and everything Virgo couldn't do anything which is a bit like okay bit strange there you know I really kind of want to know what the heck this ice magic is especially if it's kind of blocking the power of the celestial spirits you know because their power is pretty much absolute so whatever so anyway, yeah, you know, Sniper Dude he ends up taking out Sagittarius, which is a bit like, oh my god. He's like, oh yeah, you cannot um, doubt modern weaponry, but still, that sniper rifle, that is something else. For it to literally blow a hole through Sagittarius like that, so like I'm wondering, is something bad going to happen with him? Is, he, is Sagittarius kind of like, you know, one-armed now, or does he heal up when he goes back to the Celestial Plains? I'm not too sure. Are they kind of like, you know, summonings in Naruto? When you actually take them out, they just vanish and then they go back to wherever. But I don't know. It's really, really weird what's going on. It's really weird. I'm not fully understanding what they're all about. But yeah, this that's kind of like the point, obviously, where the Treasure Hunter boys are actually dominating them up, you know. Flair gets her hair all tied up. Like, you know, he ties her hair up into a knot. So it's like, yep, now you can't do nothing. Now I've got you. Wendy, she gets, like, grabbed by the hammer thing. And it's like, yep, we've got you now. You girls are done. And then, you know, in true fairy tale fashion, the heroes have to win, obviously. So you see them all break out everything. Wendy broke her arms, um, enchantment magic, so obviously powered her up. Uh, Lucy ended up summoning Loki somehow, and he got behind the sniper dude ready to take him out. I miss Loki. And then Flair, obviously her hair can grow no matter what, so she just grew it past the point of the knot, and it's like, yep, I've got you now. Took them all out. So, well done, girls. Seriously, well done. They actually took them all out. But yeah, one thing I do have to say is Virgo... She's a really, really weird spirit, you know. It's like some weird BDSM type spirit. 
Seriously, she's like, oh yeah, when they were like cussing the girls with all the sexist things, like, yep, you girls are like way too young to be fighting us. All you should do is just literally shake your asses for us. And you see Virgo there, it's like, okay. It's like, I thought Lucy was your master. That's the only one you listen to. So why are you doing it? Fan service stuff. But yeah, really weird. So yeah, like I said, guys, well done to the girls this week. They stepped up a lot. I'm kind of surprised at how strong they were, actually, considering how like Natsu and Grey they couldn't really do too much to him and then next thing the girls come along and it's like yep we've won now we're kicking your ass it's like go girl power pretty decent so yeah next week hopefully we go back to like the main lot find out where the hell grey is because i really don't know where this guy disappeared to i was quite expecting him to kind of like turn up and help out the girls or he's gone off to go help out urza i want to see what's going on with urza's fight obviously because she's now a child she's at like complete and total disadvantage and then, what the hell's going on with that weird fishman guy, you know? I want, I want to know what's a little bit more about him. It's a bit strange. So, yeah, that, there's pretty much this chapter in a nutshell, you know? Decent chapter. I'm quite happy with it. So, yeah, cannot wait for the next one. Let's see what's going to happen, where the story's going, because it seems like this arc is pretty decent. So, yeah, but guys, that there is my review on Fairy Tale Chapter 347. Um, you know the usual. What do you, what do you think of the chapter? Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a little thumbs up. really does help series. And... As usual, don't forget to check out the channel for more content. So, I'll see you soon.